vapor source. Yeah. So every time the dog exhales, what's happening here, when the dog exhales, there's a turbulent air jet that comes out of each nostril, just like when you and I exhale. When it does this, it, it vectors those air jets down and towards its rear end. And in the world of fluid dynamics, if I call fluid entrainment from a head. So what the dog is doing, it's exhaling. When he does that, he's literally pulling new vapor towards himself. He inhales it. He analyzes it with an amazing chemical detector. And he does this at about five times a second. So dogs sniff at about five. If you and I did that, we would pass out pretty quickly. So this is one of the reasons that the dog is such an amazing chemical sampler. Just, just a piece of the puzzle. Mm -hmm. So the point of all this is what we call biomimicry. It's taking what nature already does, understanding that, and applying it or integrating it into technology that we're trying to improve and optimize. Great example of that is, this is a commercially available sniffer. It's very good at detecting TNT, but you have to be right on top of your sample. And sometimes you don't know where your sample is. And all this does is just inhales constantly as if it had infinite lung capacity, a little tiny hole right there. What we did is we designed and printed what are essentially nostrils that plug onto the end of this, make it sniff like we just saw. And with our measurements in the lab here, we've seen an improvement in its ability to reach out and grab vapor molecules by about a factor of four to five. 